Hey, I'm Mike, and this is how you do the highly communicable achievement in the other side. This requires you to kill each boss in a single visit while someone is affected by corrupted blood. Before you do anything else, clear all the trash on the way to each boss. The first boss you want to fight is Hakar because that's the boss that will give you corrupted blood. It's just this red circle around you. It's a 12 second dot that ticks every 3 seconds. When it does tick, it applies itself to anyone else within that red circle. As long as at least one person in your party has this throughout the entire dungeon, you'll get the achievement. And it does not have to be the same person, just as long as anyone in your party has it. I feel this a couple times when we just had two people bouncing it back and forth so when i actually got it we found it best to have three people assigned to it just in case when you're entering or exiting rooms make sure that everyone knows which direction that they're going my group just had the people affected by blood always going right in areas that you can mount i highly recommend using a two-seater mount because it just makes it super easy make sure the people affected by blood are not getting too far away from their healer because they will likely need to get healed between each boss because this does do a decent amount of damage on your way to the mana storms, if the oozes are not disabled, make sure you guys are going at the same time. And for the bridge, we found it best to apply Corrupted Blood to two extra people. Those two people did not cross the bridge until the two assigned people were at the boss room and confirmed they still had Corrupted Blood. Before you jump down into the mana storm boss room, make sure at least one person's dot has just refreshed. On the fight, it's best to have anyone but the people affected by Corrupted Blood doing the bombs. Other than that, this fight's pretty easy. For Dealer's Ixa, we had the people affected by Corrupted Blood pretty much ignoring most mechanics. If they had a bomb on them, they did not go up into the air. They did not go up into the air during the raid-wide AoE. The only thing they moved out of was the thing that knocks you up into the air, as well as that white line in case it was on them. We popped all of our offensive cooldowns on this fight just to make it a lot easier, but make sure you have some of your defensives up in case you need them, and party-wide defensives might help as well. After the fight, you can just walk up on the right to get back to the path and mount your way back to the entrance. If anyone has a sandstone drake mount, you can have two people affected by corrupted blood use that mount, because the person who owns that mount can click the orb and both people will be sent together at the exact same time, making sure that corrupted blood does not get off of them. Do not bother trying to coordinate any sort of clicking of the orb at the same time because you will likely fail by doing that, trust me. If you want to play it extra safe, have two people with Corrupted Blood stay back at the boss room, and only when it's been confirmed that we have Corrupted Blood at the entrance will they go back up to the entrance themselves. For the last boss, there's a couple ways you can do this, one of which is just handing off the Corrupted Blood to the tank and the healer. My group preferred not to do this, instead opting to two-phase this fight. So what we did is we split up one DPS, the healer, and the tank on one side, and two DPS on the other side. Both groups were affected by Corrupted Blood. When the portals came up, we did the back set first, we did the first phase all over again, and when the second set of portals came up, we did the ones closest to the boss. If your healer's up for it, just have everyone keep Corrupted Blood on themselves throughout the entire fight. Doing it this way is a little bit more healing intensive. Alternatively, just make sure people pick up corrupted blood just before the portals come out. Also, before you go into a portal, make sure at least one person's dot has just refreshed, because you don't want to be losing the corrupted blood going into a portal. That's how you be highly communicable. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Have a lovely day.